Okay. So I've had a lot of people ask me to explain my sh personal shooting technique to them um, on YouTube. Uh, most of my videos have always been for Instagram and they were under a minute, so this is a new concept for me, so bear with me. And again, or for the first time I should say, this is my personal shooting technique. I'm not saying it's the best, I'm not saying it's correct. I'm just saying that after years of shooting, this is how I found the most efficient way for me to be accurate. So, that being said, let's get to shooting. Uh, this is a longbow. I shoot carbon arrows. I like the consistency of them. I shoot with a tab, and um, I tend to shoot with a closed stance. Um, the more open your stance is, the shorter your draw length is going to become. So if you have a lot of problem with arm slap because your stance is so close, see where my string is, you could open up your stance and that'll get your string away from your arm. But I tend to use a more of a closed stance. I like a tab and I use a deep hook. So I'm putting it there and I'm hooking that up. So I'm doing that. I'm not trying to hold the bow with the tips of my fingers. I have it in here. The concept of a clean release to me is the same as like dropping a bucket. If you had a bucket in your hand and you wanted to drop it cleanly, you would just open your hand. So with that being said, I probably studied all the shooting techniques that you can. Um, I probably use a little bit of everything in my subconscious or, or I'm not really thinking about it, but generally my aiming technique is instinctive. I'm looking for a very specific place to hit. Um, I'm aiming for like a hole that's already in that apple. I'm not just aiming at the apple. Um, that's why I'm always saying aim small. But with that being said, what I do, like I said, close stance, deep hook. I hold the bow fairly loosely. I have all my fingers on it, but it's still a fairly loose grip. I'm not holding it for my life at all. The best thing that I've found is try to make your initial pull back like this at an angle. Your shoulders will appreciate that after years and years of pulling back. So what I do is I imagine that there's a laser coming out of the front of this bow, this, this arrow. And I put the bow where I think that laser needs to be in order to hit it. So when I practice, most of my practice is around 14 to 15 yards. I'm not compensating for the arrow going down. It's all completely instinctive. And I'm just acting like there's a laser coming out of the tip of this arrow. So when I come to full draw, let me back up and say that I found when shooting at short distances at smaller targets, I like the arrow as close to my dominant eye as possible. Um, again, I find this works best for shooting at small objects at very close situations, so under 15 yards. So when I'm coming to full draw, I put this arrow as close as I can to my dominant eye. What I also do is I essentially have two anchor points. So when I come back, and I don't like to think of it as an anchor point. Don't think of it as a place to come to rest. What you want to do is come, I come to my first anchor point. It's about here. And I'm doing all my aiming. And I'm getting ready to release the arrow. And as you can see, that feather is only about an eighth of an inch from my nose. But once I've done my aiming and I'm ready to rip, I'll just pull straight back until that feather touches my nose. And then I try to make a clean release. Um, the only thought in my head when I'm making the release is once that feather touches my nose, I try to imagine a golf ball dropping off my shoulder and I want to bring my hand back to catch it. So I'm getting lost in my whole train of thought. I'm going to do a, uh, take a shot, show it to you, and we'll just kind of call it a, call it a day. Um, the only other thing that I would recommend is when you're aiming, try not to worry about holding your bow 
dead center. The thing is always going to float. It's always going to bounce around. The harder you try to keep it still, the more it's going to float around. So just let the bow float. Um, do your aiming. And whether you're using a trigger or the feather touching your nose, when you release it, all that floating is going to take care of itself. Don't even worry about it. Um, but the last thing that I want you to think of is when you're at full draw, imagine you're shooting a rifle and your back elbow is the back sights of that rifle and the tip of this arrow is the front sight of the rifle. So in your mind, if you can get that all to line up and then when you release, if you're using that aiming technique of thinking of a laser coming out of that arrow things should hopefully work out for you if you have that back elbow lined up with that front it's almost hard to miss so anyway I'll take a couple shots show you my form I don't know if I'll leave the comments open on this because people tend to chime in with nasty stuff but we'll see if you have questions hit me up and I'll just take a couple shots and we'll go from there so first my stance, deep hook, and then I'm focusing on exactly where I want to hit. So let's just say, for instance, I want to hit that apple. Pull back this way from the full draw. Settle in, pull back till that feather touches your nose, and grab that golf ball. That's what I got for you. If you have any questions, hit me up. I hope this explains some things to certain people. If it helps you, good for you. Uh, if I can help somebody out there, that's awesome. Y'all have a great day and I'll just finish up these shots. Y'all have a great day. Aim small.